The Ikwere LGA Secretariat is currently on fire and there is sporadic gunshot being heard on the background. The police have announced their withdrawal from the Secretariat. Barely hours after their withdrawal from the Secretariat, the newly rebuilt Secretariat went up in flames and you can hear gunshots at the background. And of course, we know that this is connected to the election that took place on Saturday. Supporters loyal to Wiki, they are saying that this election should be cancelled. Wiki do not want this election to hold. They are saying that Fubara went against court order to conduct that election. Not only did Fubara conduct that election, he sworn in those that were elected on Saturday on Sunday and they were supposed to resume today. <laughs> This is only possible in a country where there is no rule of law. This is only possible in a country where one man thinks that he can control a whole state. I cannot even tell or understand the reason for this political crisis in River State. If not because we've monetized politics in our system, this whole thing will not have been happening. Politics ought to be a means to serve the people. Politics ought to be a means to sacrifice your time and resources to the people. But here in Nigeria, we have made politics a means to acquire wealth. We've made politics a means to capture the state. Everything happening in River State is because of state capture, it's because of resource control. People want to control the resources of the state. You have ruled for eight years, and while in office, you control the resources of the state. You were in charge of the resources of the state. PK has left River State and is currently the FCT minister. He has a duty to serve Nigeria through the office of the FCT minister in Abuja, but yet he is so invested in what is happening in River State. An LGA election is a sole responsibility of the state governor. It is the duty of the governor to conduct that election. But Wike was so interested in that election that supporters loyal to him went on the street to protest against the election. Even when the election was conducted, they equally went on the street to protest that that election should be cancelled. Again, Wike used the police, which is a federal tool, to try to scuttle the LGA election in River State. But the governor was brave enough, he went ahead to conduct that election against the threat of the courts and the police. And now that the election result has been announced and the winners of that election sworn in, they've gone ahead to set the secretariat on fire. This secretariat was built using River State people's money and now they are destroying the secretariat. Tell me who is going to rebuild the secretariat. Of course, River State money will also be used to rebuild the secretariat. Money that would have been used into other ventures that would profit and benefit the people of River State will now be used to rebuild a secretariat that was destroyed by the people in River State. This is because of the kind of politics we play in this country. President is not saying anything about it. The president is watching why his appointee, a minister, is running show in another state. Is disrupting the peace in another state. I need to understand how are we going to progress as a country when we practice this kind of politics. How are we going to experience development in this country when we practice politics of bitterness? You need to understand that whatever is happening in the river state is being done by the people in the river state. Someone somewhere is being used to destroy the peace and prosperity of river state. In all of this political crisis in river state, the people that will suffer it more are river state people. These politicians are not suffering the consequences of this political crisis. They are the one in charge of the money. You, the people that will suffer the consequences of this crisis, you allow yourself to be used by these same politicians. When we Nigerians grow up, 
When are we going to grow beyond this level of rascality that we allow ourselves to be used by wicked and desperate politicians to destroy our country? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.